All right, well, the Jenny's down, the 370Z's down, the GTR is down, the Colorado is down, and now the Saab is officially down. I'm sorry, Matt. You know, I don't like that car, but I do want to say I apologize. It's sad. What well, happened? It was uh, driving, and it went kundunk, and then it tried to stall, and then it, I have a video. It, it, oh, you have a video of it? Yeah, happening. Man, ain't no one ever going to beat me, and I'm sitting in a hot car contest, bro. I'll live every month. Wow, that just blew up. Oh boy. Yeah. Well, I haven't seen that video yet, but you guys just did. But So as you guys know, Matt's engine sadly took a poopy. So we need to um, empty out the trailer. We got to figure out a game plan for Matt because Matt, that is his pride and joy and stuff. And he does want to build an engine and stuff. We'll get into that. But before we go any further, if you guys want a free t-shirt, you can order these boxes right here. You have to order the bundle. I don't think I was clear on that last video, but if you order the bundle, you get a free t-shirt. Just make sure you put in the notes what shirt size you are, and we will get that to you ASAP. We're trying to raise some money to do some crazy things. And throughout the next couple weeks, we'll get to that. But right now, we got, we got a lot to do and not enough of time. Hi. How's it going? Good. It's uh, Chris and Cooper day yeah. because uh, my mom had to go do something. But step one of the day, we got to get rid of these tires. I've been driving around with these ever since Colorado because uh, my boy Trevor hooked me up with these Lariat wheels and they just came on these tires. So I'm like, screw it. Let's just run these. But Lee from Monster Performance told me to do a burnout at the compound. I got a little too happy. So in the rain, these aren't too good. And we honestly tow a lot with this thing so we're just getting new tires put on um i already have brand new tires they're just on these death trap wheels right here so we are getting these dismounted and we're gonna put these tires on the lariat and then have new tires again stoked step number two we had to drop the trailer off this trailer place because i can't tell you how many times we have changed this, these tires and i think the axles are just misaligned like look I, we have all brand new tires once again but every time we go to florida and back it's at least two pops tires and i feel like it just shouldn't be doing it that much so i'm just dropping it off here and they're gonna see if the axles are straight and everything i want them to look at this this because like this well you can spin this thing for 20 minutes and you barely make any progress so if they can look at that and just like a few other things just to make sure that's all good but now that we don't have the trailer we could bring this to town fair they're going to get that aligned and then the truck will be good to go all right guys well matt is um waiting for the truck because obviously he doesn't have a car and he wants to go get an engine i'm sure he'll check in with you guys but anton hit me up dude's a big hiker now big hiking guy this is um this is what we're looking at here doesn't look as steep on camera. Quarters in? Oh, not even. I mean, a yeah, we're 0.8, yeah, so a nice. little less than halfway. Yeah. Jake, how you feeling up there, buddy? Look what this dude's hiking in. You look like a plumber. Well, had you had hurried up, this one, I would have been able to get shoes. Onward and, shit. and upward. <laughs> you ready, dude? Hmm. You got this. Cooper's, Cooper's an animal. He's doing better than Matt would. For oh, look at him! What? Don't tie yourself out, buddy. <laughs> Jake's gonna have to carry you. Well, truck's ready. The new tires mounted on the rear. We got the truck back. Chris is going on a hike with Anton. I actually got a lead, luckily through one of the Saab groups for a fully forged engine for cheap. The guy doesn't know much about it, so don't know if it's good. Gotta go just check it over. It's 200 bucks. Honestly, I need a head, really and because i already have a forged bottom end and everything so 200 bucks for a fully forged motor i'm just gonna slap it in see if it makes power and why not and then if that thing has any issues i'll just slap my good forged parts into it and we'll be good or i'll build another engine on the side i still got to figure it all out not a bad view this guy's the weak link here <laughs> he's been complaining the whole time huh he is wearing boots yeah. huh? <laughs> he, is, he is looking like a plumber right now but we'll take this in for a minute Coop, how you doing? I'm Oh, wow. Wow, you want to keep going, dude? You, you're, you're missing the best part. You want round two? This is why we do this right here. I think he just wants to get the hell out of here. Well, it's all downhill for the most part. Oh, right good, now. good, good. <laughs> Don't go too far. We did the hard part. Now, yeah. Now it's smooth sailing. Yeah, it's all a lot of downhill. Downhill, slip, eat shit. <laughs> <laughs> On my way to Mass right now. Got like an hour to go. So there, there's a lot of ways out of this hopefully it's just i can put this 200 dollars engine in and drive it around and build that engine on the side like i was planning to do before this engine let go but we'll see i think rudnick's on a hike right now so maybe we'll just check in with him and see what you got going on chris we did it Yay. you did great 
That was uh, an hour and 14 minute hike, two and a half miles, 530. Good job, boys. You guys ready to do this again tomorrow? Right. Yeah, we doing it? I yeah. hit my feet. We'll see if I can walk in the morning. On it back. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see in the morning. You ready for the tomorrow morning, 7 a.m.? Uh, yeah, right, dude. The day you get up at 7 a.m.? Coop, what time was I up watching the news with you today? He actually was up there. What happened? I had to shit really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I had to go, and then I was like, I might as well stay up. That was it. Yeah, I don't usually wake up at 7. Yo, dude, can you tell me a knock-knock joke? Yeah, I got you. Swab's got you on that one. Is it loud? Oh, yeah. I haven't heard it yet. Hey, I wonder if it'll even start up. It was trying to seize. Oh, it's not terrible. Oh, God. Oh, you... Dude texts you, he's like, windowed the block, things totaled. It's broken. It sounds like a wrist pan or something. Oh my god, this guy's so dramatic. He told me he was dumping oil everywhere. Oh my, he's got a flat tire. Oh, dude, you're fucking your bumper. You just totaled that lip. You gotta jack up the trailer, my guy. You know what he needs? It's oh. off over there. He needs oh, some great. flex Great. What does he need? He needs some flex seal tape. Yo, you want some flex seal tape? I'm gonna pull it to the head. Okay, come on. <laughs> we raised the trailer, but Matt said he's just gonna send it. Straight. All right, just go. Yeah, good, good, good. Keep coming. Yeah, nice, dude. Nice. Keep going. Keep going. So, yo, slow down, bro. Why are you doing? Keep coming. Yeah, but you're going 100 miles. Have you ever put a car in a trailer before? A lot. <laughs> yeah. You're not very good. <laughs> oh, it sounds not bad. It doesn't sound like it's broken. You really exact. Okay, okay, all right. Well, that's what I heard. I, you have to rev it out to like three times <laughs> to go anywhere. Strapped with them LZ straps. He's got the engine. Let's go get this thing to the shop. Let's go look at this engine because I haven't even looked it over. Oh, perfect. <laughs> I told you to at least spin it before you got it. Did you spin it? No. Perfect. Dang, so this is like the first car in a while that we're actually going on the lift and we're actually working on. While Matt does this, I got some serious organizing to do. Over the past couple days, I've been working in the merch area, trying to get all that situated and stuff. We bought a bunch of new storage bins and we bought a bunch of new shelving and everything. And I have a storage unit and I've really been cleaning that out because we need to optimize the shop. I personally can't work in here. How this is, I did, it's just unbearable. So. While Matt's doing this, he's gonna be pulling the engine when he needs my help, obviously I got him, but I need to focus on this, cause this is, it's, we just, we can't do this, we can't do it. I'm gonna blow up. It's the only time we're ever gonna be filming Saab content. Yeah. Ever. <gasps> Looks pretty good on the lift, dude. Yeah, dude. So Matt's actually been spending some guap lately, dude. Broke again. Is this like your first like actual three piece wheel? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, because the, the ones I bought for the Saab are two-piece wheels. Okay. So I got two-piece for those. And then From Japan, dude, show them these suckers. Eight months to get. Eight months, but hey, they were cheap, right? Yeah. Dang. I paid 400, or yeah, it was 400 for two. Oh, you only got two? Yeah, well, I got, uh, I paid $40 for four work barrels, but I only got two of those as well. Oh, God. Yeah. So you only have two of these? I only have two BSKFs. I figured... Are these like drift spares or what's up with these? These are going to be the front boys for, okay. the, for the drift car. I respect it. And then we're going to run the ESRs. Okay. <laughs> well, hey, man, at least you have two. You're halfway there. Yeah, dude. You know, I'll, I'm hoping actually... Because I also have these barrels for eight. You got these for 40 bucks? Are they nice? Yeah, How much was shipping, though? Uh, 400. <laughs> Wait, so the barrels were 40, but the shipping was 400? Well, for all okay, barrels. okay. All right, not terrible, I guess. I so how much are you into these wheels all together? Maybe 1100. Okay, yeah. all right. Like, I mean, yeah, you can buy two nice VSK. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when you say like 40 and like 400, it all doesn't right. sound too bad until you add the shipping. Yeah, the shipping really killed me. We didn't know what the shipping was. There was a whole thing with an importer trying to scam us and steal my shit, so. I feel like that's like a big thing now. Yeah. Importers scamming people. Yeah, so these sat in a warehouse lost for three months you know and dang well uh, they're here now but yeah but they're I, two but, barrels short but yeah but i mean they're two genuine work barrels i want to get like minerva faces and just do like a mix match or if i can get kf faces and yeah that's sick fire. hell yeah but they're the same 
Matt's E46 is gonna be hot soon, don't you worry. So you actually got like a pretty good deal on this. Did you tell him how much you spent on it? So I spent 200 bucks. Yep. That's why I don't care if it turns over. I still have the block, I have pistons, everything to make it good. Yep. It is bad. It has B234i cams, which are the NA versions of these motors, which are very uncommon because they're just bad. But they're a way more aggressive cam profile. Normally they're like 300 bucks for those cams, 200, 300 bucks. Every time he was telling me about this motor, I was getting a little more skeptical because it's like 200 bucks, forged bottom end, like factory forged bottom end. Normally they go for like 500, right? Then it's got $200 cams and it's got the $150 uh, balance shaft delete kit and then it's got ARP head studs which are like another Dang. 150 bucks so it's like there's like a thousand dollars worth of parts here that I got for 200 bucks which is let's hope it works yeah like hoping that the guy didn't lie to me and he says it's good and he is still to crank it over yeah so we'll see we'll see whenever he decides he wants to crank it I don't know if I want to know okay well you have to you yeah. have to know <laughs> okay <laughs> Dang, every time I come back, you're getting crazier, dude. Yeah, I'm about to drop the pan, just waiting for the oil to go So back. what's the goal here? You're trying to figure out if it has forged rods? I'm yeah, I'm trying to figure out if it has forged rods, because if it does, I got a clutch coming. We're going to make good power. This thing will be able to handle, if it's forged rods, this thing can handle four, 550. Even. Which, honestly, this could be a blessing in disguise, because you've bought a block, you bought pistons on the side, you're going to build it. It's just a little expensive. You just haven't pulled the trigger yet. Yeah. But I you might have just got everything in done one. With no work or machine work or anything like that. This might have been a blessing. It could be. I mean, it's a little gross, so maybe it's seen some miles. It's not, yeah, which, it's not I mean, it's whatever. Build, which is good. You don't got to break her in, dude. It's ready to go. Just straight. Just balls of the wall. Yeah. Which another thing is, we were actually going to pull this engine today. He was going to kind of rush this and try to get it in because obviously it's his daily and stuff. I told him he could drive the truck, but dude loves his sob. But we're actually going to Colorado tomorrow morning. Something came up, which I know, and I talked about this, I think, the last intro like something big came up and we're actually pulling the trigger like i'm bummed because we're missing grid life but this finalizes the gauntlet that's what we call it gauntlet yeah the gauntlet well it is a gauntlet no but, but what's the thing you just the said infinity earlier stones? the infinity stone it's the last piece of the infinity stone so definitely get ready for next video we're driving 30 hours straight to make this happen and it's gonna be crazy. It's not Avengers Endgame, it's Haggard Endgame. It's the Haggard Endgame, and I'm the guy. Hey, you're Thanos. I'm Thanos. You're... I've never even seen this. Everyone has just been talking about it to me. Like, is it? Thudnik. Thudnik? I'm Thudnik, dude. Thudnik. Crudnik. Crudnik. I'm Thudnik Crudnik. So, I gotta go drop off a harness because we're also trying to build the Colorado. I was gonna put the power steering pump in the GTR today. Honestly, when we're home, I'm just trying to like go, 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 trying to like rearrange things to get things set up for when we come back and then all all of a sudden we leave again and we found this out and like we found out that we were actually leaving tomorrow about an hour ago so it's hectic all right so the engine looks back together um i know we got some bad news to talk about some very bad news as you can see by this photo here the pistons are cast not forged so which is weird because you said you've confirmed that this is a forged block. Yeah, so this is the, the block out of the 9000 Arrow. It's got the same mounts and stuff. So, like if you come over on this side. On my series engine, these don't exist. Like there's just a little less, there's more stuff here. Like it's just like, uh, it's just like little things that tell you the difference between the castings. And this is the original forge engine. And someone put the pistons out of there. Fucking piece of shit into this and told me it was for you should throw down in the comments what you guys think matt should do this is matt's daily so i told him what i thought he should do is put this engine in you know drive it around just use it as a daily and since these engines are 200 dollars, build the next one so you, this thing's not just out for two months yeah. you know my thing is i don't want to do the work twice i've been waiting four years i have to take the head studs out of this because it has a ford pinto kit because they don't make stuff for sobs so I wonder uh, why <laughs> yeah so the arp stud kit is from a ford pinto i need to swap the washers and stuff like that so i kind of am already doing all the work to lift this head and why not just lift the head yeah and rudnick's got 28 cars so yeah. why not just use one of his cars right so it's a, I think it's a I think it's one of the few company benefits is maybe you no know, it, it is kind of funny that every time someone breaks I'm like yeah just take whatever dude I mean, like will daily the Colorado for what two months that's I'm not good well yeah Wait, no, oh you no, are actually uh, yeah no I mean I don't I I'm just giving him shit I don't care about that but I just think realistically he should put it together but if you don't if he wants to take it apart man the more more power to you. I had the entire night to think it over and I was going to do it until somebody told me that the, the washers in the ARP kit is wrong. 
and it doesn't disperse the load right and it just digs into the head when you're on boost and kills the head anyway so i just don't want to have the same issue you know yeah i mean it's easy to just take the nuts off and you know retorque them down with the right washers but it's, it's the, you know, you know, it stresses me out i just okay. want i, mean, I just hey, don't man, if you want to go through the whole thing go i'm not stopping you i'm just telling you i think you should just put it in throw it down in the comments maybe i'm the crazy one we'll never know I, i'm definitely crazy so but stop. Where, where are we going tomorrow Colorado. We're doing it. Yeah, so this We're gets, doing it for a road trip, dude. Yeah, this gets put on the back burner. Well, you, you're waiting on a clutch, you're waiting on injectors, you're waiting on a few things anyways, you said, yeah, so. Yeah, turbo, housing. Did you order a turbo? Uh, the back. I thought you had a $4,000 turbo in that thing. I have a $3,000 turbo, but I'm swapping the five centimeter back housing to a seven centimeter squared back housing, so better flow, less back oh, pressure. Boy. here we go. I can't wait. So, all right, this is this is the challenge. Mm. You're gonna do all this to the car, and then you're racing me in the Ricer Miata. Okay. P for pinks. Not for pinks. For pinks. Dude, but I, I get to put money into my car too. How much? How much horsepower do you need? I don't know. Not enough yet. But I'm it, for you don't get the for an extra th for a thousand bucks. I can make that thing smoke. That thing oh, I'm for sure. sure. I'm sure. We're gonna do it for pinks. Not for right pinks. when that right when it's done for pinks. Yeah, dude. Right. Hey, you can get the OG in. Ricer, dude. Wow. <laughs> hey, don't say it like that. That's fucked up. I get a car I can't fit in physically. Well, whatever. Well, come to the gym with me. It's, not, it's a tall thing. We're, we're rambling at this point. We're going to Colorado. We're finishing the final piece of the puzzle for the Haggard thing. Super bummed about grid life, but I'm really dedicated to this whole Haggard thing, and um, me and Cam have a couple things in the works and stuff, and this just kind of further concretes it. So I'd rather focus on that than go to another drift event. And to be honest, every YouTuber's gonna be there anyways. Everyone's gonna be documenting it. It's just gonna be the same video, so you're welcome. Don't forget to go down in the description below. If you buy both boxes, the mitt and junk, you get a free t-shirt with your order. So don't sleep on that, and we'll see you guys in Colorado. Peace.